हे हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू आर डी रिक्शी फाइव फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो इन दिस न्यू एपिसोड वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इन्वेंट्री एडजस्टमेंट जर्नल अवेलेबल इन द इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनामिक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन सो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मूवमेंट जर्नल इफ यू डोंट वॉच द मूवमेंट जर्नल वीडियो यू कैन चेक आउट दैट वीडियो इन द आई बटन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट वेन वी क्रिएट अ मूवमेंट जर्नल एंड अंडर विच सीनियर वी क्रिएट एडजस्टमेंट जर्नल सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बोर्ड टू जर्नल बिकॉज द बोथ आर यूज फॉर द एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ द इन्वेंट्री सो वील डिस्कस दिस वी विल क्रिएट अ वन एडजस्टमेंट जर्नल एंड successfully post this journal and i will show you at the end of the video inventory transaction and the ledger account entries for this adjustment journal so make sure you watch the complete episode to understand about the inventory adjustment journal so in our previous video we create a movement journal like movement journal is created to adjust the inventory within a warehouse likewise the inventory adjustment journal is also doing the same thing that also adjust the inventory stock for the specific warehouse so it's just the second bit to adjust the inventory for the specific warehouse so now the question is so under which scenario we create a movement journal and when we create a inventory adjustment journal so to answer this question inventory adjustment journal are used within a microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation whenever the root cause of the inventory discrepancy within the inventory location is not known so that is whenever the root cause of the discrepancy is unknown in that scenario we normally use the inventory adjustment journal just to adjust the inventory stock to reflect the reality so the major difference is we create a movement journal when the item discrepancy is known and we create a adjustment journal when we don't know about the root cause of the discrepancy of the inventory so this is a major scenario where we use the inventory adjustment and inventory movement journal so let's start with first configuration of the invent adjustment journal okay so in order to do that we again go to inventory management under inventory management journal entries we have created this movement journal previously now we click on the inventory adjustment so from here we create a inventory adjustment but before creating a inventory adjustment journal as you remember we first need to create a journal names for the movement also we create first journal name for the movement so same like this we also need to create a journal name so for the journal names we click on this journal name option under journal name we have inventory we click on this inventory here we create a new journal for adjustment so we click on this new we journal provide in inventory adjustment journal and we select the journal type as a inventory adjustment so here you can also see that the offset account is blank for the inventory adjustment let's i'll again change to movement so here for the movement you can set the default offset account so whenever we set the default offset account this offset account will be automatically inherited when we create a movement journal lines so this default offset account we can set for the movement but for the inventory adjustment we can't set any default offset account so this is also major difference between the inventory adjustment and the inventory movement journal so we created this just save this one okay so now again we to our inventory adjustment click on this new here we select the inventory adjustment so you can also set the default value for the, uh, this newly created inventory adjustment journal so i'll show you some for some uh, environment i have seen that they are manually select this uh, journal name when they create a, any journals so let me i'll show you how you can set the default value for this journal also I'll go to inventory management inventory management parameter under the journal section here you can set all the default values for a journal so like inventory adjustment we have created new this new inventory adjustment and for the movement also we have created our new journal movement journal so we set our new values and save this option so you can set over here for other transfer counting bomb whenever in future when we create the video for this journal we will set this default value so for now i just save this again go to our inventory adjustment now i just click on this new 
so now here you can see that system will automatically take our new journal name as a default value so we just send and save here the warehouse name save this okay that's it now we click on this ok button so here you can see that inventory adjustment journal is identical to the movement journal it's same like inventory journal but i'll show you some difference between them okay first i'll insert the line in the uh, journal lines so the date of the journal line make sure you mention the proper uh, inventory adjustment date because you can also post the inventory adjustment for the previous date also and this journal name will take it as a inventory posting date so you need to mindful about this inventory uh, adjustment date when you take it post the inventory adjustment so the next is a item number so we just select this item number let's just save this one location and quantity other as all the options are same we just again add two more items i want to show one more scenarios to you okay and here i add the second line and in the second line i set the quantity as a minus one okay so we have added two lines one is uh for plus in plus one so we are procuring this surface pro item in the adjustment and the hdmi six cable in this scenario we are removing this one quantity from our inventory stock so in that scene you can see the difference i will open duplicate this tab and open the our movement journal inventory management movement journal so this is the movement journal yeah so in the movement journal you can see that we have offset account option over here but for the inventory adjustment here you can see that offset account is blank so we can't even mention the offset account in the inventory adjustment line level it will automatically take from the inventory management posting profiles so i'll show you at the end of this video about the inventory posting so for now just remember that we can set the offset account to the inventory journal lines okay and the second one is for the positive quantity i need to mention the cost amount so here i mention the cost amount as a 10 and for the negative as you know it's automatically take a cost amount from the systems and it is just a display amount system will make a debit of amount from the running average cost so it will take this running average cost from the item master where we mention the item model group so this cost amount is just to display the existing cost amount of this item so we just save this one okay so we just validate this click on ok yeah so i will successfully validate this journal let's post this journal click on ok yeah so we have successfully post this journal so let's open the entry now so I'll show you the uh, inventory lines now so in the inventory transaction so here for the inventory transaction you can see that it's showing the cost amount is minus 12 which is sold and in the reference as we discuss in the reference for the inventory uh, movement movement journal it's different because it's inventory adjustment so showing that reference is a inventory adjustment and I just click on this ledger under financial voucher so it's same like a movement journal but just here is the difference is it will automatically take a offset account from the inventory posting first is a profit and loss of we set in the inventory posting for the profit and loss account in the inventory expenditure losses and inventory expenditure profit so i'll show you where we set this all values if you don't watch our previous episode we have already discussed about this but if you are new in this channel i'll show you where we set the inventory postings so under inventory management under posting tab we have posting setups under inventory we have inventory inventory expenditure loss and the second one is the inventory expenditure profits 
so this inventory expenditure loss and inventory expenditure profit so respectively losses and profit account is tag so it's fixed account key in, in the posting profile itself so we don't need to manually mention the offset account for any inventory adjustment line level or in the uh, journal name level so that's it for this video it's a very small video for inventory adjustment journal because inventory adjustment journal is very simple as compared to other journals so if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your all connections so stay tuned with us and thank you for watching